Now that we went through our telephone call, which again, gives us a lot of information. Then we did our visual. We walked the pool, we looked for air, we looked for autofills. We saw what this pool is made of. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get it nice and quiet. We're gonna do some static listening. This is the big part of why Leaktronics separates itself and it separates the men from the boys when it comes to leak detection equipment. Microphones, hydrophones that go in the pool. These find most of our leaks. Weight of the water, pushing out of a leak creates noise. This is our SM1, this is our pipe mic, this is our pool scope, and this is the SM2. Let's talk about our pipe mic. Our pipe mic is dynamic for listening in spa jets, in pool returns, in side suctions, in skimmer lines, anywhere you could fit it. Now, will it get past 90s? Maybe one or two when pushing it in and twisting it with your finger. But again, you don't typically have to get back to those locations. 95% of all leaks are located in the three foot radius of the pool. That's what these mics are special and dynamic for. So with our pipe mic, when we push it in, if we hear a leak, it gets loud right where we're at. Sometimes we'll pinch the wire, lay it out on the deck and say, hey, put an X, that's exactly where the leak is. Sometimes we could pass the leak, right? And it'll dim out again. And then when we pull it back towards us, we'll get over the leak. And again, pinch the wire, lay it out, and put it down, and that's exactly where the leak is gonna wind up being. We have our side mic. This is our regular SM1. This is great for listening around a light. We take a light and we treat it like a clock. So we start at 12 o'clock, and we work this all the way around the outside perimeter of the light. If it's loud at six o'clock, that's where the leak is. It's gonna be actually at the light niche, usually where it meets plaster or it meets vinyl or where there's a gasket or something to that nature, even in a fiberglass pool. If we hear loud at the center of the glass, usually it's gonna be because it's in the conduit, which is way back. These are great for listening around side suctions or anything on the vertical wall where you're standing. That's what it's made for. It's a direct point and it'll give you that exact point. This is the pool scope. This is great for listening in a catch basin. This is great for drop and drag. Mute whatever you're listening drag it over what you want to listen this is good for slot drains if you could get it in this is good for any kind of drain even the long drains this is good for again regular main drains commercial pools gutters or whatever it might be again it's weighted it's very sensitive and it'll get you over what you need to hear last but not least is our SM2 this is a brand new mic. This mic is super sensitive. It's got two separate printed circuit boards in it, two separate piezo elements in it that lets you hear those leaks from very long distances away. And again, it gives you a very good center. So this is great for vinyl liner leaks in a cove, in a radius, at a step track. It's also good for the structural cracks in a gunite pool, in a concrete shell, or whatever that might be. Again, just a more sensitive mic for better listening. If we have a landscape truck pulling up while we're going to do a leak detection, we either try to get our leak detection done before they break out their blowers and their weed whackers and all their really loud equipment, or we'll wait till they're done. So sometimes it's really difficult. There's a lot of other things that could throw off these leaks. The sound of a jet plane above is the same exact sound of a leak that you're hearing with a hydrophone. So one good thing and a rule of thumb is, is that when you have your hydrophone in a pool, let's say, and you're listening at a light and you hear a leak at, let's say, two o'clock, we'll pop one of our ears off on our headphones. Why? Because we want to see if that sound that we're hearing is something that just popped up in the sky above us. We're going to look around. We're going to make sure that it's that sound. Another way of doing it is, is taking your mic from the loudest section when you're hearing it close and backing it away. So pull the mic back. If the, if the sound dims out when you pull your mic back, that's where the actual leak is. When you get closer, louder, pull it away, it gets lower. So that's how we use hydrophones to listen in these quiet environments. We get it as quiet as possible, everything off, pumps are off, and again, we're listening with the hydrophones. The next thing is, is gonna be our vinyl liner testing, and we're gonna show you that. That's with the V2.